Punto oficial, punto oficial. Diaz, uh, tell me your thoughts, you know, working with Damien Sugar Vasquez, upcoming prospect. What do you think working with him? Well, very nice. He, uh, that's whatever we tell him to do, correct what was wrong, mm -hmm. and make him make him a better fighter. And he accepted immediately. Gotcha. And he correct the things that we told me and Salas told that he was doing wrong. Mm -hmm. And he already approached the boxing, which is the most important thing, in a manner that he, he, he correct already all the little things that we already tell him. I noticed about him, I covered him a little while. He, he has a humble approach compared to a lot of guys you see out here. How much easier is that for a trainer to take a guy, a kid a like that? A lot, because when you got a fighter that he thinks he knows everything, whatever you tell him, he automatically he refuses to do it That's because right. he thinks he knows everything. And this kid is the opposite, 100% different. Damien, when he gets older, you know, he's only 17, he's just 17. How is he going to develop? What about his future, the next steps, just the uh, progression? If we, if we uh, for what he knows already, and he, after we, we finish putting a lot of different things on him, he will be a great fighter. He will be a good, good fighter. Didn't bring nothing to the table. Last respected trainer, uh, I see you got a new pupil here, uh, Damien Sugar Vasquez, uh, cool prospect. Uh, what's it like working with him so far? Yeah, it's you know, it's a, it's a future, you know, it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful thing when we got such talent uh, coming to our hand, you know. Mm -hmm. We're working together with Miguel Diaz. We have a team, and just to build, you know, his fundamentals because the boy brings all his talent. Mm -hmm. Um, and for sure, he, he will be a world champion. What's it like for you when you get the phone call that you're going to be working with someone new? How do you go about the early days of getting to know them? Yeah, because uh, they, they came here to, to top rank and they asked me to, to work with him. And actually, I like to work with young fighters. Yeah. I like to build a young fighter. But for some time, unfortunately, I had to take care of it. All the fighters because so many fighters asking for me, so it's opportunity for me to start to work with him and to not forget the fundamentals. Diaz was the other day was telling me this kid is great because he doesn't he listens, you know he he soaks yep. up what you say. What, what do you yep, feel about that? Yep, yep, yep. Like today we today just finished a fourth round. Yeah. And actually we was planning to do six round, but we saw his performance in fourth round. And we say this is enough. This is what we yeah. need to. This is what we need to watch for this time. He, he keep working. We working with his fundamental, his yeah. feet. Yeah, you see, we try to get his proper uh, body balance. Everything coming from his feet. We need to bring up his hand. You know. So the way we looking forward to seeing him to go to another level.
now I'm back in the game Just trying to display my name I'm opening my delivery So deliver my pain And I show what I know Through paper and pencil Cause I don't rap about swag Cause swag is for bitch show Man, I thought you knew All the things that I've been through So I'm me telling the story That I had admitted to And uh, I'm not a thug Don't rap about fake bugs I keep it 100% Cause in the end it's all love And my name is Jay Still A meal ready to kill I'm spitting my truth and lyrics 